fool. Oh, I gotta take a sip to this, man. Woo! Cheers. There's no liquor in here this time. Mm -hmm. What's going on, y'all? What's going on? Today, you see we have the spread Chick-fil-A because mm -hmm. we're starving. Mm. So, a question that we always get is how we met. So, we figured we would do this video today just kind of breaking down the situation, you know, what happened. Yeah, how you meet each other in a pandemic. That's the yeah. biggest thing is like, how did y'all, how did y'all meet? So, tell them what you got in your hand, Shady. <laughs> right here, right here, from a Whataburger fans, because you gonna find the Whataburger like brand spicy ketchup at H-E-B. The spice, the sriracha ketchup, the truth. The truth and the light is lovely. So let me go ahead and dip in my Chick-fil-A sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, so why don't you explain your side first? All right. So how did we meet? It was it was a cold, chilly, snowy. No, it was snow. It snowed down here. It was the day after Valentine's Day, February fifteenth. February fifteenth at the Nines. Now at this point in time, man. Me and my partner, AD, shout out my boy, AD Creations. Um, we was very active, you know, we was on the scene a little bit. I don't know, we was kicking back, man, and I walked in and, you know, I would say within an hour, maybe, you know, I just kind of got into my vibe, had me a little tequila sunrise. I happened to look across the dance floor and I just saw this beautiful young lady. And um, I don't mean to like boost her, none of that. Uh, there she go. Easy boost over here. Come on now. But um, I saw her when I was like, I just kind of sat there for a second and then I turned my head and I looked up again. And then I looked at my boy. And I'm like, she tough. <laughs> and um, he was like, yeah, for sure. And uh, so I was like, okay. You know, I kind of felt out a little bit. So as the night went on, um, some of my fellas, y'all may feel me on this, but this was the first time for me, man, because I never went this far in. Like, I was never this intrusive and, like, this strategic with my with my plot. Like, it was crazy. <laughs> so I was like, all right, well, I kind of moved around the room a little bit. And um, she was, you know, she was on the dance floor with her homegirl and stuff like that. And um, they was just real active, you know? A, a lot of people was kind of leaning towards them, you know? They was feeling their vibe. I was feeling the vibe, you know? I kind of started getting a little salty. I ain't gonna lie, cause I thought she had a guy. You know, I thought a guy had scooped her, you know? He was like, hey, he he walked up, he was doing his thing, man. He was like dancing with her and, you know, hey, my fellas, we know like, hey, we see them and they doing their thing. Like, he might got it, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I was thinking. By that time I had made my move around the room. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just try to pull in some kind of way to where I can just be in her pattern. Mm. You know, I watched her do a thing. And um, I don't know, I just kind of felt, I was like, you know what? Normally I would just kind of dip off. Like I'd be like, hey, I'm good, bro. You know what I'm saying? I got like, you know, I'm good, you know what I'm saying? You know? I get who I want. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna introduce myself. I'm gonna just say something. I just let me just let her know who I am, at least, you know. And um, so as the night kind of went along, I slid back around again to where I knew she was gonna have to walk out at. And my meantime, my homeboy the entire time, AD, he was just kind of standing off. He was just looking at me, just laughing. He was just like, oh my god, this boy. So, anyways, we got towards the end of the night. Yeah, she started kind of creeping towards the door like she was gonna leave. I just kind of lightly touched her and then, you know, I just, hey, how you doing? Like, I just want to let you know you were so beautiful, you know what I'm saying? And it just went from there. You know, we just kind of talked and it was cool. But to let y'all know, this was February 15th. Yeah. So quarantine was started. Like, honestly, quarantine hadn't happened yet. Not in the United States, I think. It was full swing. Like, there was no capacity. There was no masks, nothing like that. Like... It was just a normal day at the club. Mm -hmm. This was this because it was a girls' weekend for us. Um, me and my me and my friend, we decided to just go to the ninth. I'd never been to the ninth before. I just moved out out here. It was my first time, kind of being in my first big girl apartment. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, we look good. We look real, real good. Well, I didn't see him at all. 
I don't remember seeing him at all the whole night. I don't, I can't, I can't pull it. You ain't always gotta make the presence <laughs> feel. <laughs> so, no I didn't see him. Sometimes you just gotta, you know. So, I was chilling. You don't leave a good impression on me. I'm not gonna remember your name or your face. I have a bad memory anyways, so. You don't remember who I was. Nope. Oh, like Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday after that. <laughs> I did not remember. So, this happened on a Saturday night. Mm -hmm. He didn't text me until Tuesday. That Tuesday? No, I didn't text until Monday. So I was like, man, you know what? I'm going to do something a little different. I was like, you know, I'm going to just kind of hold off. I'm going to send a picture. Because if I send a picture, regardless of what day it is, she going to remember me. I waited till Monday when I sent the picture. When she responded. Now, at this time though, I was kind of in a situation ship. And mm -hmm. I told him that off top. I was like, like, hey, I don't know what's going on. I don't want to involve you with something. And then I turn around and I end up in another relationship. So mm -hmm. off top, I let him know that. But again, that Tuesday, mm -hmm. I remind him again, I was like, hey, I've kind of got something going <laughs> on. Um, and he kept it respectful. He was like, okay. She told me, like, all right, she, she got a situation shit going on. So I'm going to respect that. I felt like when I met her, I was like, you know what? We cool. Like, she had good energy. Like, it just felt like we were kind of naturally, like, some good people. So I was like, no, I'm not even going to trip. But came, like, Tuesday, I stopped getting replies. I was like, oh, man, right? <laughs> I think I might have sent another text the next morning, man, and I ain't get a response. I had got the Instagram, so I was like, you know what? I just keep up with her that way. You know what I'm saying? Man? So I was like, you know what? Let me just figure this out. And then we'll see from there. But then the pandemic hit. Well, then quarantine hit. Quarantine. Like Ooh. a month later. And everything yeah. shut down. We just kind of, not necessarily like lost contact, but we just like didn't talk to each other. Like I see him like some of my photos, comment on some of my stories every once in a while. I'll be like, thank you. That was Every once it. in a while. I don't even think I sent a DM to her until like May. Like right before my birthday, and mm -hmm. then you commented on my birthday. Too. On your birthday too, yeah. Should I pull them damn receipts? Go ahead. Yeah. I just thought maybe like he randomly followed me, and I just followed him back. I truly did not remember where I met this guy. I was like, my number was not saved. It never was. <laughs> Now we should hurt you with. Let's see there. Listen. See that? Mm. Listen. Escalated. Escalated. Mm. Escalation. Okay, so June was the first time I reached out to her since. He just said happy birthday because I had a bunch of stories on my Instagram. He was like, happy birthday. February to June, bro. Talk about patience. <laughs> I came back again, July, end of July, just some hard eyes. July 23rd. So you see what I'm saying? Like, it was literally like a whole month. This is crazy how this was happening. I mean, of course, we probably had our own situations going on. I wasn't like doing nothing, trying to like get her. This is not. I was just like just a casual comment. Yeah, it was just casual. Like I thought she was cool. You know, she was beautiful to me. So I'm like, yo, the next one is in August. It's August. So okay. That's the very end of August. So, so August 24th. That's right. I sent the DM. Yes. That's, that's when it starts when again. Starts. By the end of August, I was I was out of my situation ship, free and clear and single, whatnot. And I went like roller skating. Fun fact, I like the roller skate. Mm. And he commented, um, just a hard eyes again. And I said, I was like, hee hee, thanks. <laughs> mm. I had a lot of stuff going on at that time. And I just made this decision with myself. I was like, you know what, bro? All right, I'm gonna just go after it. I went and followed her on Twitter. Then I waited and I was just kind of, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just wait, you be cool. That man found me. I was like, oh. She posted something. Hit that thing right in that dm school just like in the ice in the ice skate video okay so you was gonna go roller skating i said oh okay there she go on some hard eyes and i said he he thanks with a little emoji the little was like a little hug i'm like oh like okay this. Mm -hmm. i'm like okay i said he he so i still have your number but last i remember you were entangled. I hate that word. Hello. I said, LOL. <laughs> Am I at least somewhat clear to use it? With some eyes. <laughs> I said, you are you are clear. I'm not in that entanglement anymore. I hate that word. The grip that that word has had on our community has to yes. end. And from there, he started texting Whoa. me. I was like, really kind of escalated to here. And, and, and it's pretty crazy because, I mean, from the first day, honestly, 
when we started texting, it was honestly just pretty much like we just kind of picked up where we left off. Like it had been six or seven months since I even had met her yeah. for the first time. And literally it just, it just picked right back up. And we're like, we're this just, is like, we just picked right back we're up. We're just now. texting, just texting. Cause when he first met me in February, it wasn't no like, hey, I just wanna get to know you, give me your number. Like we were actually talking about stuff like, I think we're talking about school because mm -hmm. I had recently graduated. He was about to graduate. I'm just like, damn, you're so beautiful, or all this stuff. Like, he actually held a conversation with me. I could see that not only was he fine, like, he got. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was not going to give you the time of day if you was ugly. You know what I'm saying? Like, God. You look cute. Hey, man. A little look, bit. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna do all that. Oh, time, but. <laughs> <laughs> but he just held a conversation and it was like that it, that was how it stuck in my mind so that when he texted me completely after that i was like oh okay i know who you are i still remember like hey okay no this, i definitely this had to recollect cool. i had to re recollect a few things so, from the jump like yeah. he moved he moved with a purpose like we were texting and you know some people just like girls you know how when you're texting a nigga and it's just like you're just texting where you work at what you doing like no we were talking like we're old friends catching up, like, because mm -hmm. I remember he wanted to, he was like on it, like he wanted to call me, like what that Thursday or something like that. that? Yeah. Oh, that's what it was. The first day I called you. Mm -hmm. That Thursday I Facetimed you. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. I answered the Facetime without my wig on. <laughs> Okay. And I'm like, honestly, like this man got to see me in my Trey Songz braids and my glasses, and <laughs> he don't like it. No harm, no foul. I'm, we're living on FaceTime for like three hours. He's playing with his music. Oh I'm crocheting. Goodness. Like, like you were. <laughs> it didn't feel rushed. It didn't feel forced. I gotta say, this man got an agenda. Like, he moving. He's moving. You know. Oh. What? You what you oh. Oh. <laughs> you ate the cherry. I did not eat the cherry. She is somewhere in here. Ooh. Romantic. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> For me, a beautiful smile is like kind of almost a tell all. I mean, because it personifies, like, it really personifies your personality. Like, it like brings it all together. You know what I mean? So, when I saw her, man, she, you know, she was looking good. She had a beautiful smile. She just felt like a southern girl to me, a southern belle. <clears throat> and so, I was just like, well, yeah, like, that's, that's my speed. So, you know. And then she had a beautiful caramel, caramel uh, tone skin. My caramel apple butterfly. My cinnamon apple. What we say about PG 13? <laughs> See, we all learned about the birds and the bees. I taught myself the birds and the bees. Uh, oh, what? Oh my goodness. The medical terms and definitions of things. So. <laughs> oh man. I knew what happened. Mm -hmm. I hated bees when I was growing up. Oh, I, I used to get attacked by them. I'm scared I'm allergic to I hope y'all enjoyed this video. We about to finish. Oh my God. I was eating. What the? I ate. I'm about to finish this half of the <laughs> bees, four nuggets, and you all these five just, look. Look. just watching, just listening to you talk. I was just like, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I, I was trying to talk. Look, man. I mean, I talked too, but I was like, honey, I came here first to eat. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Man, we enjoy making this video like we enjoy making all the other videos. Like always, we ask that y'all like, comment, like, comment, subscribe, share. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we'll see y'all back next time with another video. Peace, 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 yeah. peace. <laughs> Papa's. Mm -mm. No. We got food this time. Uh -huh. What's up? Come on around, sis. Come on, come on. You want to be in the video? Hmm. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Attack him. <laughs> oh my god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he about to lose his mind. He like, suck you. You better give me that guy. You better give me that fry. Give me that fry. You're good. You're good. Here you go. Okay. Bye bye. Bye.